Go. So like any hot based food in China, you get to make your own sort of condiment base, you know, to change the flavour, right? So this is the same with the beef, beef pot that we're having today. So you start with sesame seed oil. Oh, I'm going to put this down. It's not, ooh, it's so greasy. Right, there you go. Start with that base. A bit greasy, this. Okay. Uh, so there you go, that's the first bit. So loud in here. Hopefully the mic's working. And then I see this chilli sauce, which is the local chilli sauce, right? But I actually had this last night. And rather than it being spicy, it's just so salty. So instead, I'm going to have this, which is more of the Sichuan style oil and spice. Yeah, it's spicy. Yes, yeah, salty, but it's not as spicy as this bad boy. All right, move over. Bit of coriander. I, for anybody who's, who, who's been watching this channel for a while, you guys know I love coriander. Uh, and then some chives. Lovely jablet. And then some chilies. Now look, I know I spend most of my time in Sichuan, so I should be used to spicy food, but I'm not the biggest spice fan. However, now I'm going to add some chilies. The reason why today's pot or beef pot is a clear broth. It's like probably a bone uh, a broth. It's not the spicy pot, so you need to add your own spice. I realise we've got spice there, but a little bit extra uh, doesn't, doesn't hurt either. And then garlic. You know what? You're going to see this much garlic, you God, he must stink. But actually, I'll tell you what, I don't plan on kissing anyone tonight. Maybe someone's kissed me, but I don't plan on kissing anyone tonight. So I should be okay with this garlic. I should be alright. And then a little bit of extra garlic. This is the fried garlic. This is so fragrant. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. It's like the cooked, the cooked, the fried garlic. And then you've got a few other things here, but I'm actually going to leave that. The one thing I do want that they haven't got here, but I'm going to ask in a second. It's oyster sauce. Any type of hot pot, beef pot, I love oyster sauce. So let's take to the table and we'll ask you on the oyster sauce. Let's go and look at the pot. Finally found some local Guangdong beer. So this is called uh, Blue Girl Beer and it's from Foshan. I guess from Foshan. Uh, finally found it. I've been looking for ages. Whenever I go to a place, either the Baijiu or the beer, I want to drink local, right? Sort of Budweiser out there. That's definitely not local. But I found this Blue Girl Beer. I've had a couple of sips. It's really nice. 4.5% alcohol. For me, beer, I like the, the higher alcohol beers. This is very nice. Finally found it. When you get yourself down to Guangdong, have some of this blue girl. It's a good name, isn't it? I love it. Blue girl. Lan me, ha. Lan yu her. Hey. Oh, it's Jesse, what do you think? You like it? Yes, very yummy. Very yummy. Yeah. Let's see a dish there. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah. What does it taste like? Meat? Meat. Beef. Yeah. Beef. Yeah. Beef. Yeah. Beef. Maybe it's just me, but I, I, I need, you know, the different beefs, the, the vegetables. Once you've mixed it in with your garlic, with your chilies, with your sesame seed oil, with everything else, excuse me, with everything else, so sort of, you know the different flavors, it all pretty much tastes the same. You mix it with soy sauce, it tastes like soy sauce. You mix it with garlic, it tastes like garlic, right? Hey, what if this channel turns into a food channel and on episode seven I basically say everything tastes the same? What kind of food channel is that going to be? Well, first of all, that, this is not a food channel. This is a. I guess so far, this is a me channel, it's a China channel. I think China's more interesting. Hello, hi. Uh, but uh, so, not bad food channel. Although, we're going to do food, right? We've got new places and trying new food. Um, so, yeah, I can't just say everything tastes the same. Everything tastes completely different. It's all new and wonderful. Uh, Seriously though, I think I might put too much spice stuff on this. That was, I really, I didn't want to admit to it because I thought it was pretty cool in the intro video, you know, where I did the, the spices. <laughs> this is actually really spicy. Mm. It's spicy, but it's good. It's spicy, but it's good. Could be a Sichuan. <laughs> Oh, 
很快就好了哦，需要多长时间？十秒。This is like done in ten seconds. It's super quick. Ten seconds, boom, it's done. Okay, it's been more than ten seconds. About ten seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty. Twenty seconds. <laughs> 这个是啥子烧 ？Right,、uh, we've had the blue girl beer. She's looking. Hello. Hey. She's she's looking a bit. We've had the. Right, mate. She she. Yeah, we had that example. Don't mind her. He doesn't want to say hello. Alright. Alright, we've had the blue girl beer. Now I've got this blue ribbon beer. Now I've got blue ribbon. You can tell this is a fat bottle. It's a really fat bottle. Four point three percent again from Guangdong from a place called Zhaoqing. Which we passed our mate. But my hands pretty greasy. I'm actually really strong. You can't tell in this jacket, but my hands it's greasy. My hands greasy. That's why I struggled for a second. I've opened it now.、Um, I don't know what kind of beer this is. You know, in China, most people do not drink straight out of a、uh, out of a bottle. In fact, I don't actually like drinking out of a bottle. I think that might be an American thing or a Mexican thing. I see a lot of people drink Corona out of a bottle. We drink out of these like tiny little glasses from beer glasses. So, cheers, guys. This is Blue Ribbon Pat's local Guangdong beer. That's more like a bitter. It's got a bit. That's, a, that's got a bit of a bitter. If, if you're in England, if you're in Britain, that's a bitter. That's a bit like a, bit, a cold bitter. Hi. Hi. Not bad. Not bad. It's got flavour. It's got proper flavour. I can't really describe it. You can't do YouTube channels if I'm talking, describing food and drink. I can't describe it. I find it difficult to describe it. It's a It's like a, it's like a bitter. It's full of beer. Wheaty. What does wheaty even mean? Not breakfast wheat a bit, but just. It's nice though.